everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video <laughs> we are doing a full review and swatches of the infamous morphe and james charles palette so if you guys actually watch my buy it or pass it series you know that i just included this in there um i did list this on a pass however there's just so much hype going around it i got curious <laughs> so you know what i'm like let me go to Ulta, let me see what this is about, let me look at it in person. And I went to Ulta, sure enough, they had it right there when I walked in the door. And I looked at the palette. It is not what it seems online. You know, when I looked at it online, I swear, I mean, I know he's said that these were like reds and oranges, but I swear online to my eyes, it looked like these were nothing but neutral shades. These were the only colors in the palette. And then you have your big pans right here. And I was just like, ah, no, I want an all colorful palette. So when I saw it in person, there's definitely more color in here than what you see on the pictures on Instagram. So I bought it. <laughs> I bought it and I'm like, you know what? We are going to test this out. I'm going to test every single color in this pan. We're going to do a very thorough review on this palette. So that is what I have been doing since like Friday. I have been creating look after look. I think I posted like three different ones with the colorful shades that I did that I loved. Um, I posted those on Instagram. If you guys want to go check those out. Um, and of course, I have a little bit more of the neutral shades on today. Um, so yes, I have tested every single shade in this palette and I am so ready to give you my thoughts. So what we're going to do first is there's just too many shades to actually sit here and live swatch every single one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to swatch them for you guys. I'm going to swatch them two rows on my arm and then I will do the middle row on my arm and then we'll do the colors and then I'll come back and we'll go through everything. So before we get started, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm going to have those all linked down below for you guys. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa, honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa. It does say Morphe times James Charles on the front. It's got this really smooth surface that's going to be really easy to clean. I like the fact that it's black and not white. Love that because it's not going to get super dirty. On the back it says Artistry Palette. has the little circle that says James Charles Palette. Um, and then you open it up. Ooh, I always get so afraid it's going to fall out of my hands. All right, you open it up. It says Unleash Your Inner Artist on the top. And then these are your shades. Okay, so let's start with the top row. This first shade right here, let me start off by saying uh, the name is Canvas. I love this shade so, so much. As soon as I put my eyeshadow primer on, I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I will put this over it and it covers everything. There are no, There's no redness shining through. I love it. It is a perfect base color. So in love with it. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. Um, now, on, actually on my eyes today, let me go ahead and tell you what I have on my eyes today. So I have, obviously, canvas. Um, I have this highlight shade right here. I used this shade, um, this shade, these three shades right here. Um, so I have that all on my eye today. Um, 
this is the standout shade right here this orange shade of course when you first look at the top you're kind of drawn to these three shades this is not just your typical orange it is like a yellow orange which is really really pretty and it doesn't make it so overpowering but i mean you can see that is definitely chunky on my finger but it blends like a dream i love this shade so much um, and this right here is kind of like your next level it is a like an orange like an orangish red not as chunky as the first one and then of course you have your red color it's so gorgeous so easy to work with it's not too overpowering and someone like me who is just a makeup enthusiast not a makeup artist can actually work with it and not have to wipe everything off and start all over so really really love that um these like burgundy shades right here blend so nicely i am so in love with those shades i had no issues creating this eye look all right so let's go ahead and get to the middle row um number one i have to say that i love that they put this white shade in here i used it in one of the very first looks that i created the blue and white look um and it is so beautiful and i actually really appreciate that they put a big amount in here because i do find myself wanting to use this a lot um, so that's going to be really good. That was a good choice. This shade right here is gorgeous. I love it. I actually have this shade on top of this shade uh, for my lid color. I love this shade. This shade is a little bit more orange than I had hoped, um, but it's still fine because you still have this brown shade and these come out a little bit more brown as well. So that's fine. This black shade is amazing i had no issues with this black shade at all it is buildable it is beautiful you don't want a, ba a black shade that is so overpowering that it just becomes this crazy mess and you have to start all over black eyeshadow is already intimidating as it is when it comes to putting it on my eyes because it, it can really get out of control really fast if you're not careful but i think this black eyeshadow is perfect for someone who is just starting with eyeshadow it's just really easy to work with so that is awesome now let's get into the colors i'm going to start off by saying i have to say this right here is my favorite shimmer in the whole entire palette these blend like a dream oh my gosh these right here blend like a dream these right here blend like a dream i cannot stress enough how little effort i had to put in to blending these shades they practically blended themselves like i was sitting here i'm like i only just put it on and it already looks blended it was just so beautiful so easy to work with you know a lot of people get intimidated by color but this makes me wanna dive into it even more. It really, really does. This is everything that I wanted. And I am putting my own foot in my mouth because I know I said that I wanted the 35B and I was a little upset because they took that away and kind of gave us this. But these are the colors I've been looking for. These are the colors that I want. This is amazing. Okay, but hold that thought because there is a flaw in my palette um okay this shade right here this good old purple shade let's talk about this this one is called artistry now in james's video he describes it as like kind of like a packed glitter i think he said or some some type of glitter um and he said it works best if you pat it on with your finger totally get that not a deal breaker for me i think that's awesome you see his swatch on his finger you see him actually swatch it on the arm wow so pigmented in your face i even watched the live swatch that he did on instagram where he put it in his on his finger and swatched it on the arm and it was so pigmented i'm like that is gorgeous and of course when i saw this in store my eye went straight to that purple because the presentation of the shadow in the palette was gorgeous i was just drawn to it i wanted to just literally put it all over my lid it was just so gorgeous and then i got it home and i tested it out yesterday and I was not impressed. This shade let me down so bad and I'm thinking I might have gotten a faulty eyeshadow in this palette. The reason I say that is because once it was such a dud, I started looking at reviews. I started looking at reviews with 
every single person I could find from, you know, 100 subscribers to 500 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers to millions of subscribers, I went to every single video I could find to see them swatch this shade. And it looks nothing like my palette, which it kind of breaks my heart because I absolutely love this freaking palette. Like, I love it. I love it like my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, okay? But let me show you guys. <sighs> All right, so you see my finger is clean. I'm going to swatch it around, and I have been digging in this shade, just so you know, like a lot, okay? There's your color payoff. Barely anything. Barely anything. You saw me swirl my finger around. I do have a live video of me applying it to my eyes. Um, so let me go ahead and play that right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys something really fast. So we're going to go in with Artistry. Now on this side, I just have a prime, uh, an eyeshadow primer only. On this side, I have a eyeshadow primer with um, a shadow on top, just to kind of cover my redness. So like I said, this is eyeshadow primer only. And I'm using the tapping motions. Tap, tap, tap. That's what he said. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, that's like nothing. Can you see? Nothing. So now we're gonna go in with the other eye. <sighs> tap, 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 tap. <laughs> it's a little bit better, but it's still barely anything. Whew, sorry, I was looking a hot mess right there, but you did see me put it on fresh eyes, one with just an eye primer and one with the eye primer in the base shade. Um, and I literally had to build it up at least three times to get any kind of payoff at all. So I'm gonna go to Ulta, I'm gonna swatch it in store, see if it's any different. And if it is, I'm gonna trade my palette out and and I will definitely let you guys know all over my social media. I'll leave it in the description box. So Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, I will guys, I will let you guys know if I do have kind of like a faulty palette and it was better in another palette. I'll come back to you guys on that. So as you can see, terrible, terrible swatch here. So let me go again. Building it up shouldn't have to do this for one shade but i'm just saying now we have the pigment that he did in the video this is what it looked like for him in the video but you see how many times i literally had to go around in the pan all right so i tell you what yesterday in my purple look that i posted um i tried the finger patting it on just like he said i could not get the pigment on my eyes i tried a brush definitely could not get the finger on my eyes i tried a wet brush i went and i sprayed it with my fix plus and it did nothing it did nothing i could not get it to work and i just got so frustrated because i wanted it to work so so bad and i couldn't get it to work i could not figure it out um so i went in with like a color pop shade and then i kind of used it as like a topper which still didn't do what i wanted it to do so i don't know so now that we have the pigment on the finger just like he did i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you guys see it's just not as good. Now I wonder, see tapping motions, tap, 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 tap. It's still not as pigmented as other people's. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to go in store and swatch the display in person and see if it does the same exact thing. Maybe I just really have to build it up like, you know, five or six times versus three in order to get it to work. I don't know. Um, but like I said, I will guys, I will definitely let you guys know for sure. All right. So let's get into final thoughts. Do you need this in your life? I think you do. If you are someone who absolutely loves color, this is your palette. If you are someone who is interested in color, but might be a little scared because it's just overpowering for you this is your palette this is going to be your palette this palette is for beginners this palette is for advanced this palette is literally for everybody i have to say that morphe and james charles knocked it out of the park they really really did 
this palette is just simply stunning. It is so stunning. This is not going to go in my bottom drawer. <laughs> this is going to stay in my top, got to be able to reach it, drawer. Okay. I love this so much. So much. Um, so because I love this so much, I have actually decided to add one of these to my Christmas giveaway I have coming up. That's how much I love it. I want I want you guys to be able to have it. I want you guys to be able to experience it because it is so perfect. I cannot believe that I almost didn't even buy it. I would have literally just kicked myself because I would have been missing out. If you have that fear of missing out, this is that palette that you're gonna have that fear of missing out on because it is everything that they say it is. I was afraid of the techniques because he had talked about you had to use a certain technique or this or that but I did not have any issues. I normally use a eyeshadow primer anyway, so that was not a problem for me. I did not test it out with a concealer because that is not how I normally do my eyeshadow anyway, so that's not a big deal for me. But, oh my God, you guys. They knocked it out of the park. They knocked it out of the park. I'm gonna make the bold statement here, and I'm gonna say I actually enjoy the James Charles palette way more than I ever have the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, do I like the Jaclyn Hill palette? Yes. Do I think it's pretty? Yes. But there are so many shades that are just like a tone different here or a tone different there. It makes it overwhelming for me. So when I look at this palette, I totally get lost in this whole section. Even though it has a pop of color, I totally get lost in this section and I'm just like, what do I do? I have no idea what to do. So I really don't use it as much as I probably should. Now, that was gonna be one of my fears with this palette. I wouldn't know what to do with it when I got it. But the way they designed this palette, it's so beginner friendly. I love the fact that they color coordinated in here. Um, so you have the green shades, you have the blues, you have the pinks and the purples, you have like the reds and the oranges, and then you have a couple of everyday colors that you need, and these base colors are perfect. When I look at this palette, I knew automatically, oh my gosh, if I want to do a yellow or a green shadow, I know I can go to this section. Or if I want to do a pink and purple look, I can go to this section. Or if I want to mix it up, I can go there and I can totally look at this palette and see what look I want to create. I just feel so good when I look at this palette and I pick up my brush and I just, I can't wait to see what it, how it turns out. It's just that good. So, I mean, what else can I say? What else can I say other than this palette is so perfect? It's so perfect, you guys. So that is it, you guys. I hope you find this review helpful. I tested every single shade in here for you guys so I could give you a very thorough review. Um, but when it comes down to it, don't miss out on this. Do not miss out on this. It is so good. And I know I've said that probably throughout this whole video, but it really is magical. That's the word I'm looking for. This palette is magic absolutely so if you guys did like this review please give me a big old thumbs up um and i'll see you guys next time bye